Hi, this is Tim Erden, author of Statistics in Plain English, and in this video we're going to go through um, SPSS output for um, a chi-square test in SPSS. Um, it's called a cross-tab. So I'll go through and show you how to calculate this or how to, how to do this um, analysis using SPSS, and then we'll go through and interpret the data. So you go to Analyze, and under Descriptive Statistics, um, here, and down to Crosstabs, <coughs> you get this window, and I've already selected the two variables. So the top variable, in which is going to be divided among the rows, is um, a measure of immigration or generational status. <clears throat> so we got first generation, second generation, and third generation um, students. This is uh, data from a sample of high school students. So first generation means the student was born outside of the U.S. and moved to the U.S. Second generation means the student was born in the U.S., um, but the student's mother was born outside of the U.S. And then um, third generation um, means that the student and the mother were um, both born in the U.S. And then the columns um, variable will be gender. <clears throat> so we can check and see which statistics we want. Um, I've selected chi-square analysis. There are lots of other different statistics for different kinds of data and different kinds of variables. Um, but I just want to do a chi-square test. And then in the cells, you can select uh, lots of different information. Um, you can have the percentages show up. So like what percentage of first generation kids are boys, what percentage are girls. Um, it makes for a lot of stuff in the table. I'm just going to have the observed and the expected in my table. And then we click OK and take a look at what we get. <clears throat> up on top here, or it says case processing summary up here. That just tells you how many cases made it into the analysis. And um, we've got 804 cases. This is a large data set that has you know multiple waves of data. And so um, there's 853 cases that weren't in this particular wave of data that I'm using. Um, but we still have 804 valid cases. And then here is the actual chi-square table. <clears throat> and what this shows you is the rows were divided by generational status, third plus generation, second generation, and first generation. And then the columns are gender, girls here, boys there. And the top of each cell is the actual count. This is the observed frequency. And the bottom of each cell is the expected count. This is what would be expected by chance, <clears throat> just based on the um, the numbers of students in each category. So, um, as you can see in the totals, let me double click this <clears throat> so it doesn't keep having stuff. In the total you can see that the observed and the expected are always the same. Um, the total number of second generation students um, is 371, and so that's what you would expect. Really, the question is, is that total divided across the two genders in ways that are representative of the number of boys and girls in the total um, sample? So let's take a look at this. Among third-generation girls, there's 139, and what would be expected by chance is 135. So you can see that's, that's pretty close. So among the second generation, you can see that there are fewer girls than would be expected by chance, and there are more boys than would be expected by chance. That's right there. And in the first generation, we see that there's slightly more girls than you would expect by chance and slightly fewer boys than you would expect by chance. So that shows you um, the observed number of cases and the expected. And Generally speaking, the differences between the observed and the expected in this example are pretty small, so I'd be 
surprised if that's a significant difference. And here we have the chi-square test and it shows us that the value that we got uh, for the chi-square test is um, 3.38 and it is not statistically not statistically significant. So um, and the degrees of freedom here is two. We have three rows. Three minus one is two. No, we have, yeah. And we have two columns. Two minus one is one. One times two is two. So that is um, how you read this chi-square table. And then we reach our conclusion. Um, there's not a significant difference in the number of boys and girls in each of the generational groups um, a different, there's not a significant difference from what you would expect to get just by chance. So that is how you use SPSS to calculate uh, chi-square and a um, contingency table or cross tabs and that's how you interpret it. I hope that's helpful.